Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be super cool and I'm going to have a disclaimer here. It's going to be pretty hard. So if you are new to this, I would not recommend trying it. Maybe starting with some easier tutorials and learn how to use Photopea first because this is going to be one of my more complicated tutorials. And so just a little disclaimer there before you get too far in. But in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can do some manipulation. Um, you can see right here, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look similar to this. I can't promise it's going to be the same because it's going to be kind of hard to replicate everything. But I made this earlier and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Without further ado, let's get started. All the pictures used will be down in the description below so check there if you need it and we're gonna just bring in the phone on the table picture which is right here and we're going to add in some grass so it'll be in that folder that you will download and it looks like this so if you hit Control alt t you can resize this and scale it down a bit i'm just gonna scale it down and put it on top of the phone um, now what I'm going to do is turn the opacity down on it to about 50-60% for now and I'm going to zoom in on it. Click the little add or aster mask button so we can add a mask to this and we're basically just going to cut out all of this and leave just the phone part. So let's go to our brush, make sure it's a black brush so we can erase it and I'm going to leave everything up here the same for now and just cut out this part to start so just get rid of all that extra grass that we don't need and then as we get closer we will start to turn the opacity down and maybe even the flow okay so now turn the opacity down just a bit and we're going to hold alt to resize it while we drag and we're just going to erase the rest of this. Don't worry if you erase too much. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the opacity back up to 100. I'm just going to have to be careful. So let's start to erase. And you just want to do this all around the phone. But you want to leave the silver parts of the phone like this. You want to keep them showing because that'll make it look cool. So I'm just gonna speed it up. Okay, now we can turn the opacity back up to 100% because we are done doing that. And you can see the flaws even better. So now you can go through one more time and make sure you got all of it the way you want it. I'm just going to go around and make the final touches on this. And you can also turn the opacity down for this part because you're going to need to be, um, you're going to need to blend it a little bit better than we did the first time. Okay, I'm going to turn the opacity up to like 95%. And now we are ready to add some things in. So I'm going to add a tree, which will be in that folder. So let me get the tree out. I think it's right here. Okay. So here's the tree. I'm going to resize it and put it at the top left of the phone. Like right here, hit that check mark. So now you can see it's there, but it doesn't look very natural. So. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add some shadowing to it. So let's zoom in on it. Click this little new layer button and go to your brush. Turn the opacity down quite a bit. And let's draw a little shadow below it like that. Move it below the tree and turn the opacity down on the shadow that you just made. So it looks more natural. You just want to turn it down until it looks good. I'm not the best at shadows, so you can do other techniques, but this will uh, get the job done for now. And we're also going to darken this part right here because the sun is going to be like right here. 
so it wouldn't make sense for this to be lit up so let me get um, a new layer put it on top of the tree and we're just going to make the size pretty small brush down it like that And then what we can do is we can turn the opacity down on that too. You can see the difference. It starts to make it look like it's actually meant to be there, which is a nice, a nice thing for manipulation. I'll make the shadow even darker like that. And we can even get an exposure layer. Let's first combine all these layers that we just made. Um, merge layers. Um, we could get an exposure layer for this right click on it and make it a clipping mask so it only changes the tree layer and turn some of these settings down because we need to darken it a little bit it's a little too bright to be against the sun i think about this much should be good yeah that's good for now okay so now what we're ready to do is bring in the cow. So that's also going to be in the little download pack I have for you guys. And you could use any animal if you want. I'm just going to use the cow because it's already in like the position I want. Let's bring that in. Scale it down quite a bit. About here. Hit that check mark. And now we are ready to do the same thing we did to the tree. So first what we can do is actually darken the cow. So let's get an exposure layer for the cow. Let's just control J that exposure layer and bring it above the cow. Let's see, the fill was at 0% for some reason. So now it's already darkened quite a bit, which is good. And now what we can do is make a shadow for it. So below this, we're gonna make a new layer. I need to be uh, labeling these actually. Tree, what is this grass? So you guys know what's going on here. And then is this the shadow or something? Oh no, this is the new layer I just made, okay. So now we are going to make a shadow under him. Maybe not that far out, like that. Well, the sun's gonna be like that, so let's try to get it like this. That should be good. Now we can just turn the opacity down on it until it looks natural. Like that. That's pretty good. Now we can even darken the cow because the sun's going to be right here. So this part needs to be darker than like up here. So let's add another layer above him in the exposure layer for now. Get a dark brush and start to darken some parts of him. You might need to turn the opacity down a little bit on it. So this part back here is going to be darker than this leg because it is behind his body, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it makes sense to me. So we're gonna go with it. There we go, it's dark. Make it darker here. And this takes patience and practice as well, so keep that in mind. This is not something that you can do really easily. Take some time. And brush the leg. Okay, now we can do that to this leg. That was a little rough. All right, it's going to look weird until we turn the opacity down. Okay, for this, we can turn the flow down and the opacity. We can leave it and we're going to brush his upper body. And then turn the opacity down as you get up higher on the body. So it has a blending effect and the flow as well. 
Okay. So now we got the darkened cow. We can turn that opacity down. So you can see about here should be good. And now we can just combine this with the cow, with the shadow and right click merge layers. And now we have the cow completed and let's bring that exposure layer above as well. So you can see the exposure layer does some good for it. So now, honestly, let's see what we're ready to do. Okay. We're going to add some grass below his feet and behind this or in front of this tree. So it looks a little bit more natural. So again, it's going to be in the download and it's just going to be some grass like this. We're going to resize it. Kind of angle it like the other grass is. Put it below his feet a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to have to make this look natural. So let's add an exposure layer for this. Add a clipping mask to it. And let's make it a little bit darker. And we're going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Make a clipping mask on that as well. And we're going to try to blend this more with the grass. Yeah, so this is almost like identical to the other grass around it. So what we can do is we can add a raster mask to the grass layer. So that we can fade away some of the bottom because it doesn't look very natural. So let's start to blend the grass together. Might need to turn the opacity up a little bit. Okay, start to fade out this grass. Okay, let's zoom out and see how it looks. Looks good. Looks great. So let's just take all these layers, duplicate them, and let's move it up to the tree now. Okay, now we're ready to brush out the rest of this extra grass. So go to your brush tool and turn the opacity up quite a bit actually. So you can really get rid of most of it. And you can just start to blend it. We can bring this back. We just want it to be very subtle and um, I think it looks pretty great. So now what we're ready to do is add the sun. So go ahead and get that sun layer and let me find it on my computer real quick sunlight there we go bring that bad boy in turn the blend mode to screen and first off drag that to the top Control t let's resize this and we're gonna move it right behind the tree like this okay now what i'm gonna do is add some clouds to make it look even more realistic and this is actually my second um, manipulation picture, so it's obviously not the best. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, get that cloud. Turn the blend mode to screen. We're going to resize it. Put it here. Up here, yeah. And then Control J. Move this one down here. Control Alt T so you can like select it and then we're just gonna flip it vertically and we're good to go there. Now let's add a raster mask to this one and this one because there's a part on it I don't like. It's this little part down here. So we're just gonna fade that out up here as well. I don't know. I just don't like that. Okay. Okay. You can leave it if you like it, but I don't. So let me turn the opacity down on it. Okay. It's looking better. We're actually almost done. So honestly, you can go through, correct some things like maybe the cow is a little too dark. Maybe the uh, shadows are too dark on something. 
So you can go through there if you want and adjust all of that to your liking. So let's turn the exposure up a bit on the cow. Okay. And the tree. So let's find the tree. This is very unorganized. But yeah, there we go. There it is. Okay. I turned it up a bit on the tree. Starting to look good. And now what we're ready to do for our final touches is add some curves. So go down here to your adjustment layers and add some curves. Go to the red channel, go up on this line, down on this line. Do the same for the green and the blue. It's going to make it look even better. Okay, so we got some curves on there and I think we are done. That's it. Looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys were able to follow along. I know it's kind of complicated. I didn't go into depth on some things because if you're doing this, you should probably know what you're doing and um, at least to an extent. So yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.